guys, welcome to my channel. And uh, this message is for Charles Finch. I did talk to the police, and I told them exactly how I feel. Straight up, up front. And you can give this to your police office, Mr. Finch. And you can call them, and you can ask them what I said about you. Because there is going to be no protection from the law from me. Especially when I told them up front about me exercising my rights. <clears throat> Don't mind the grubbiness. Been home for a few days. But this is to uh, Jason DeCanio in his last video. I definitely do apologize to to all of Team eBay. I definitely apologize to you personally um, for the videos I've done. I really was not doing it to really harm anybody, but the way I did it may not have been the best tactical way because I was following uh, Charles Finch. And uh, he is a cyber bully. From somebody that followed him, from what he says, I was having a good time doing it. Um, I actually wasn't. I wasn't having a good time doing it at all. Actually, I regret doing the things that I did with those videos. But he needed somebody to keep him busy, um, pulling his garbage. That's right. I was I was helping him pull garbage off the garbage truck. <laughs> uh, that's the only way I can put it. But now he thinks I'm gonna now now he's mad at me for 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 coming forward and showing people how he is. And according to him now, he thinks I'm gonna come back and be his friend again after he docks my information out on the internet after he says he threw me out of his castle because he, I couldn't be trusted. I said this in a video yesterday. So, if I wasn't trusted, which you never trusted me, you don't even trust Doc, uh, eBay's joke. You, you, don't, you don't even trust, you don't trust your own players or your own people that you say on your team. So, we're really not on your team because we know that the things that you pull and the things that you tell us aren't exactly true either. Uh, you made up a bunch of lies about Joseph DeMarco, which I followed in the past. Because really at the time, some of it was, some of it actually did look true, but then I did my own research and found out it wasn't true, and I started telling you to start backing off, you know, and start going about your own business. Go, go a different way. Stop bugging people. Stop harassing people. I told you that in the past, but you think you think it's fun. You think it's fun to harass people. And I will tell you from my point of view of harassing people and bullying people online, it's not fun at all. It's not fun having people come after you and tell you, hey, we're going to put you in court. We're going to put you up on the news if you don't stop doing this stuff. And Jason DeCanio... Joe DeMarco, Matt Zolo, Spook on the Pete all told me that if you keep following your path with Charles Finch or eBay's Joe, you're going to be up on the news. You're going to be contacted by, by news organizations asking questions. And there's got to be news trucks in the front of your house. Well, I knew, I didn't know that was actually going to happen until I saw Cyber Chunky up on the Fox 2 News. And then I realized, hey, these people are real. They're not playing any games here because these people have been victimized by you, Chuck. Yes, victimized by you. And now you're trying to victimize me because I'm in the right playing field talking about you and the things that I have done. But Jason DeCanio, I am apologizing publicly. But that is not going to that is not going to uh, change the facts of anything you have to do for 
before. And I definitely respect the fact that, that if you are filing a complaint against Mr. Finch that, you know, I'm right here in Georgia and I'd be more than happy to uh, accommodate the things that I have said and the things that I know about gentlemen. But, but Charles Finch, you need to take down all your websites, all your slander, all your defamation on people, all your doxing of people's information. It needs to come down, and it needs to come down real quick, because you, you don't understand something. You had a knock on the door by a major news organization that you not only slandered and doxed, and, and put deflammatory information on a news forecaster, Rob Walchuk, uh, that person is in a professional investigative atmosphere that you mess with. And they're not going to believe you. No one believes you. No one even believes me at this point. But, you know, I don't blame them for not trusting me. I don't blame them at all. Because I was playing with fire, following you, and trying to figure out how you were if I did those things. So, you weren't going to stop even if or when I decided that I should stop. And I decided to stop because I wasn't going to do it no more. And then you started threatening me, saying, I better start doing more videos or you were going to start doxing my information. You were going to do it anyway. You'd probably do it with Doc if he said, hey, I'm done with you, eBay's a joke, because you, it, everything about you is true. And Doc, you need to realize that the stuff that eBay's a joke does do is all true. Or this information wouldn't be out there on him. Or the facts and the truth from the people he has put in harm's way wouldn't be out there. If none of this happened, none of this information would be on YouTube or any other news articles would be out on eBay's joke for Charles Finch. Especially big news article groups. So Doc, you're telling me you don't believe any of this stuff ever happened and you actually believe eBay's a joke and you're helping him unjustify the law on his behalf. So you think that you are doing him a favor. No, actually, Doc, you're doing us a favor. You're doing us a favor by documenting all his stuff, all his videos. But you don't document the things that he's really done, and that is calling up eBay. But now, I see three police FBI reports on Hubcap Joe and recording it in video. That that not only docks to some of his information, that proves the point that he actually does the things that we say he does. And you have to see that. And you have to stop following eBay's joke. But it, you know, it's your choice. But now you, you will be called to court if Jason is going in that direction. And I'll probably be there as well. As, as witness, when Charles Finch goes down to Florida, because here's how Florida works. I lived in Florida for a while, worked there for a while, so I know how the laws work. Hey, I got pegged for a traffic ticket from a traffic cam that I never knew I did and got pulled over in Florida and lost my driver's license and had to pay $500 for a ticket I didn't even know I had. Okay, Florida is real strict, especially with law. Let me tell you how they work, Mr. Charles Finch. When Jason DeCanio does put charges on you, what happens is they'll warrant the Canton Police Department, and Florida will federally come and pick your butt up and bring you and bust you down to Florida. And when they bust you down to Florida and break into the law, hmm, wonder what they're going to do. They're going to put you in a holding cell until trial. That's how Florida works. Florida has the strictest state laws in any state of the union. So you are messing with somebody in the wrong state. And Doc, since you live in Florida, you should know better 
and you should know your state laws. Because I know them pretty well. I lived in uh, a couple different places in Florida when I, when I was living down there doing uh, construction work. So trust me when I say you do not want to mess with those state laws. All right, everybody, peace out.